This is Caesar with Small Engine Velocity, and I am back. I am sorry that I haven't come out with any videos on Saturday or Sunday. Uh, I had a really bad migraine, a sinus migraine, that kind of just made me lay around all day. Uh, normally I'll have some videos queued up, but I've been so far behind because we've had stuff going on at the house and school and kids going back to school and stuff. I haven't really had a chance to catch up on that buffer that I normally have, but uh, everything seems to be okay now. I don't feel like I have a super headache, but I do feel super hungry because in the last two days all I've eaten, eaten is rice and bacon and uh, buy BAI drink and a couple of glasses of water. So part of my goal this morning is to find something to eat and hopefully I don't pass out driving to work. Anyways, so I have to tell you a story. I've been trying to get the Lufon to the shop again, and uh, the insurance company called me on, uh, what is it, Saturday? Yeah, they called me on Saturday, or no, Friday, and then I said they would try to have them pick it up. Well, I was home all day, stuck around. And I kept on getting, oh, your your carrier is now blah, blah, blah. It'll be there in 20 minutes. Oh, your carrier is blah, blah, blah. Be there in 90 minutes. Blah, your carrier is there. Be there in 30 minutes. It changed like four times. And then no one showed up. So the next day I call and ask. They're like, we set the dispatch out. Well, they redispatched it. And it did the same thing from about 11 till about 4. Now, given... Texotic Motorsports, the shop closes at 3 p.m. And the guy was willing to hang out until 4. And then he went home and then told me that he would come up to the shop when the bike got there because he knew I didn't want to wait. Because if I wait, it'll be Tuesday because the shop is closed on Sunday and Monday. Well, to make, a, make it short, I ended up waiting until Tuesday. I ended up waiting until Tuesday because uh, no one uh, came down. And I asked them, they said, oh, it's because they couldn't, they can't tow a tr they can't tow a bike, or they can't, whatever, 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 whatever. It's terrible. So now it'll be five days since they asked to pick it up, and seven, six days, I don't know, since the accident, that they decided that it was going to be fixed. Well, I hope it gets picked up on Tuesday, because... When it gets picked up on Tuesday, I won't be there. My wife will be there. And if they keep jacking around with her, she's going to get pretty pissed. And no one wants her to get mad. It's a very not good situation to be in. I also got warned by the dealer that because the bike is so cheap, that it may total. Unfortunately for me, I changed the gauge cluster when it had a certain amount of miles. So now it looks like I only have 1,700 miles on the bike. Which isn't really a lot. But, if it does total, what I want to get next is the green one. <laughs> I know they make a green one now because I saw it over at the dealership. And it looked pretty cool. Because red was never really my color, but all they had was red and then like taste the rainbow. I wanted to remind everybody about the drawing. And the drawing ends this Friday, the end of this month. There's 511 entries, last time I looked before I got sick. And each person could submit like nine, so it's still good odds for a $30 Amazon gift card, which is funny that it's celebrating the bike coming out of the shop when it's going back into the shop again. So I guess I have to do another drawing for whenever it comes back out of the shop. What do you guys think? I do have to admit, the bike going back to the shop is pretty depressing. And it kind of makes me not want to make videos. Or just wait till it gets back, but... I have the ruckus. The 
ruckus. The ruckus. Everybody loves the ruckus. I had a guy come up to me at a gas station telling me about he used to have a scooter in the 70s or something. And then another guy came up and said, if I built this myself, <laughs> I'm like, what? And I guess because it's, oops, kickstand. I guess because it's a tubular frame, it does look like you could weld this thing together yourself. Oh, also, I've been experimenting with the videos coming out at 2 p.m. That's what I normally did. And now I've been experimenting with them coming out between 5 and 7. If anyone has any input, uh, that's central time, by the way. If anyone has any input on that, that'd be great. Um, it seems like 5 and 7 are better than 2. It's like people are already home or they have the time to get to it at that point when they get the notification. Anyways, I'm going to get a snack. Hopefully my bike doesn't get run over again. Alright, here. This is the parking space I was in. This is the truck that was in here. He turned in and swung out and hit me. You can still see the scratch on the ground over there where he hit me. Anyways, I'm gonna go get a snack and I'll be right back. All right. Snacks achieved. Snacks achieved and I am now headed to the office. What did I get for snacks? A buy, B-I-I, drink, and a uh, pork rinds. Because <laughs> I still plan on buying breakfast at work. Like eggs and bacon. You know, breakfast. American breakfast. Okay, well I'm going to go ahead and sign out. Let's wait, is this a school zone I can't see? No, not yet. I'll go ahead and sign out. I, I just wanted to apologize for the lack of videos for the last two days. And then give you a little bit of an update on the LaFond again as far as how annoying these tow truck drivers can be. And then at the same time, where my bike got hit in the parking lot of what gas station. Anyways, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, dislike, subscribe, and leave a comment below so we can have a conversation about what I've talked about. Okay, thank you and I will see everybody next time.